29 News at 5. Thank you, Dave. Remember that mercury-contaminated daycare was in Franklin Township, New Jersey? Well, new developments tonight in the long-term care of children who are sick related to their stay there. Fox 29's Rachel Wolf joining us now to talk a little bit more about this. Uh, quite a story, Rachel. Lots of folks are really concerned when this happened. Absolutely, and there's a lot of reason to be concerned. First of all, this group is not affiliated with the state of New Jersey at all, and it has a really long name. Of course, the name that I'm talking about is the Scientific Research Foundation for the Study of Heavy Metal Poisoned Children. Now, the idea is basically that it's going to evaluate and treat these children long term because basically what the state has said is that it has no plans to retest those kids from Kitty College and I can tell you after speaking with one family in New Jersey they're very happy that it's around. Six-year-old Alexis Davis is practicing her numbers and letters but she struggles to even spell her name like she used to. The results her parents say of mercury exposure at Kitty College daycare which was built on an old thermometer plant. In the two years she was there Alexis developed asthma and her parents noticed behavioral problems, the skin problems, the rashes, um, sleeping, losing, couldn't sleep, uh, losing a lot of weight. I feel like I had to like throw up or something. In July of 2006, the state closed Kitty College after finding mercury vapors 25 times the legal limit there. Tests in a third of the 60 children tested showed abnormally high levels of mercury in their system. State experts said levels did not necessarily indicate health problems. But when Alexis's face showed signs of paralysis, her parents turned to their own expert, Dr. Alan Magaziner, who was treating several Kitty College children. Mercury has certainly played a role in their current health. Dr. Magaziner, a father of three, has written four books on health and nutrition, including one on children's wellness. He prescribed Alexis vitamins and minerals like zinc. I use natural agents to help rid the body of these chemicals and also stimulate the liver's ability, your inherent liver ability, to, to, to uh, detoxify the chemicals. So far, it seems to be working. Alexis's asthma is gone. So are her rashes, but it will be a slow road to recovery. Her focus now, her former Kitty College playmates. I worry about them sometimes. I just hope all the children get the proper treatment and they all get well and nothing happens in the future. Now, I contacted the attorney for the man who owns the building where Kitty College Daycare was based, and he has no comment about all of this. Now, American Medical Saliva Testing is the company this research foundation is using for its testing, and here's some interesting news. Together, they're conducting a pilot study for the Centers of Disease Control in a separate case of heavy metal poisoning in the state of Georgia. So tune in and see what happens there because that may be affiliated or related to what's going to go on here in the state of New Jersey. I think parents want to know more definitely and if you want to know more we have more in the foundation it's at myfoxphilly.com check it out thank you very much Rachel. Sure. Appreciate it.